The race, unlike any other, involving more than 600 miles of unmarked desert trails, wild horses, and about nine days without a shower. It's called the Mongol Derby, and one Middle Tennessee man is among the handful of people selected from around the world to take part in it. New at 6, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb shows us how he's getting ready for the adventure of a lifetime. We could grab, grab well, a couple. Solar panels. This is at 16 ounces. Six headlamp. So, yeah, I, this is kind of the countdown. So, this is kind of my final day through walking through here to make sure that I've got everything I need. Get tops and bottoms of this. Given the opportunity to do something crazy, he can snap that. And I thought, you know, this absolutely looks insane. I'll be yeah. wearing the same thing for pretty much nine days. Some of us yeah. might shy away. So if I'm sleeping outside, this is this is certainly going to be enough. This race has only been done by 20 Americans. But Loden Burton? It's more of a survivor thrown in with wild horses. He headed straight for this West End Outdoors store. I came here to pick up, you know, my uh, cliff bars, um, you know, electrolytes, uh, some protein gels. He's preparing for the Mongol Derby, a grueling 700-mile horse race in the middle of the Mongolian desert, the longest horse race in the world. Given the extreme weather, uh, the altitude, um, the availability of resources around you are so slim. That's going to keep him warm. Loden was selected as one of only 35 people worldwide to take part in the race. While risking injury from wild horses and depending on families along the race course for food and shelter, you might expect a large prize for the winner. No, n no prize whatsoever. No prize whatsoever. It's uh, I think given the fact that very few people have, 40% um, of the people finish, um, I think that to me is just, it's just, it's, it's pushing yourself more. Saddle's gone, horse is gone, horse is gone. What do we do? In fact, Loden says there's no way he could have turned down something like this. Everybody's trained for triathlons and everybody's trained for, but this is something nobody's, nobody I know has ever been able to do. So yes, what Loden is preparing for may very well sound insane, but he says he's really just trying to be different, and that's a reason we can all understand. This is one of those opportunities to do something a once in a lifetime thing. Jason Lamb reporting there. Loden leaves tomorrow for China and the Mongol Derby begins August 5th. He actually quit his job as an insurance agent to prepare for it. He'll have a tracking device on him and you can check on his progress through the Derby's website. And of course, we have a link to that on ours. Just go to newschannel5.com.